Hello and welcome back to SF a Giants recap and the Giants they lose to the Angels 4 to 1 today and the offense is still lacking and they have not been able to do any run support. So that's what we're going to go over in today's recap. Make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying. And so let's go over how the offense went today. The offense they only struck out 6 times, which is good to see. But we only put together five hits and one run. We didn't convert with people in scoring position. We had a lot of opportunities, five, and we scored zero of those. So we really have to work on those. And we left ten people on base. Those things are what hurt us the most. Clutch hits are also killing us. We haven't had much power behind most of our hits. Crawford had a sack fly today, and that was the only run. No one's really getting many home runs except for Flores and then Davis the other day. But we have to have people showing up and hitting the ball hard and putting in play and making things happen. And we haven't. This team is, well, was in the top of the wild card spot. And right now we're playing like we're one of the worst teams in the league. We still got a really good chance because the whole NL is kind of scuffling right now. And we're still sitting fine in the wild card. But things have to change if we're going to be competing for a wild card spot and stay in there because this offense has been lacking. I think we're 18th in runs scored, and that's even after an amazing month of uh, May and June and doing really well. But July was rough, and August has so far been really rough when it comes to run support. Thankfully, the pitching, though, has been really good, and so let's go over that. The pitching only allowed four runs, but I think Gabe Kapler kind of screwed it, screwed it up. Ryan Walker, he started. He got three strikeouts in one inning. Great pitching from him. Shamanaya, he went four innings, only allowed one run. Got six strikeouts. He pitched great today. And then Tristan Beck. Tristan Beck's a great pitcher, but he puts Tristan Beck, a right-handed pitcher, when Kapler's all about matchups and uh, mismatching everything. He puts him in against the bulk of the Angels lineup, who are lefties, against Otani, where he intentionally walks him, which I don't get because Otani was 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. And then he pitches to Mike Moustakis and allows a three-run homer. And that's what hurt us the most. He pitched three innings, did just fine, but that, that three-run homer really just put it over the edge and hurt the whole game. Uh, he did get two strikeouts, though, but I don't know what Kapler was doing putting him in when the bulk of the Angels lineup of lefties was coming up. He should have been in a guy like Taylor Rogers or someone or leave him Mania for those guys. But nope, we're going to put in Tristan Beck, a right-handed pitcher, who is really good, but shouldn't be in this position, and let him give up the run. So that's kind of what lost us the game, but it doesn't matter when the offense doesn't put up any runs. So that will do it for today's recap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for a new SF at Giants Recap video.